so we got some rain today. We got someone playing in the rain because we're so happy when it rains in Arizona. <laughs> Look at it. Look at the sunset. It's so cool. And I am getting wet. <laughs> Yay for the rain. Let's just check out the clouds. Oh, that's cool, man. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Are we going? Yeah, all right. Okay, so that was fun outside. So I am going to do a coat of resin, stone coat resin on the top of my vase. So let's just take a look at it. How it turned out. I think it's really pretty. I love it. Um. Whether it represents autumn in fall colors, yeah. Could have maybe used a little orange. But uh, that burnt sienna was supposed to show up a little more, but it didn't. But it sure is beautiful. Just gorgeous. Love it so much. So this took a while to dry, almost two days there. Well, so I'm gonna do what I have seen done. So, oh, and then I bought these flowers for it. So this should be pretty in there. Let's take a look. Think so? I think so. Uh, just dollar store ones, but they're pretty ones too. Got about six of them, six different ones. Uh, tell me what you think. So, yeah, could have used a little more orange in the vase, but it's all good. <laughs> anyway, hope everybody's doing good today. I am doing great. So I was going to do a flood coat on this resin painting also. So we'll just do that too with it since it will be quick. And with stone coat, you use, there's an A, part A, which is the resin, part B is the hardener. You just use half and half, equal parts. Stir it for about three to four minutes and that's it. And that's what I did here, okay? So this is gonna be an easy breezy a video which I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah we'll just show it all done in part three with whatever else I do tonight or anything I've done this week you know show all my dry pieces together so this is pretty easy that what I've seen is you just put a good coat of it on the top don't need much Start smear it around. <laughs> Thing is, you gotta make sure you get every area. You know? So I'm just gonna do it this way, like turning it at the same time. Make sure. Not just go around. And touch. And kind of feel where it, it gets dry in there. Then I'll once it's dripping, it really brought the colors out beautiful. I'll go along the bottom with the stick. Oh, a lot of times. No way, I don't even have to sand it down. The the rim, you know. So I can feel I got everything good. 
that's probably the only important part. Making sure you get every area. And that's it. <laughs> Looks good to me in the self leveling. So I don't even have to add any more, I don't think. Yeah, I think that's it. I'll do it one more time just in case. I think we're good. So I'm going to get the rim so that seals that paint. And that's it. <laughs> so. I'm gonna carry this, if I can, over to a drain spot. Hold on a minute. Okay, so that sure looks pretty. Yeah. This is a beaut too. Check it out. It has that shimmer of metallic blue, it looks cloudy. So I did this a while back ago and this is just gonna be some of my remaining uh, resin. That's it. Pretty simple. I should get my other bottles too. So I sanded this down with 220 sandpaper. Uh, there was like two tiny little slivers of kitty hands in there. Which I always run into. And when I do this coat, I'll be real thorough and make sure that there's no cat hairs. I already think I see one in there. So I'm going to touch my sides real good. Got it all. Now I'm just gonna shine the light on it. So okay, so I turn the light on here. Look at it real good. Make sure I got every area. Looks good. Now I'm just gonna heat it up for a second and level it up. Pop some bubbles. Okay, so I'm gonna look at it and it might be just a tad bit of a tiny hair that flew off my clothes. There's little things just attached to my clothes. There's one. Okay. So I'll just wait like 20 minutes and then do it again. I'll check it. Torch it again to pop bubbles. Make sure there's no pinholes. And then I can put my hook on the back and hang it. It's pretty. Beautiful one. I love this one. So there we go. So I have a positive quote here. Picked out. I like it. Ha, <laughs> come on. I wouldn't pick it out if I didn't like it. The greatest weapon against stress is our ability to choose one thought over another. 
Once your mindset changes, everything on the outside will change along with it. So think positive. Your mindset is everything, guys. All right, have a good one. And we'll definitely do the rest on part three. We'll just show them. Okay, bye-bye, guys.